If you remember, though, at the beginning, I said that the CPU speed is less important than the amount of RAM that you've got and your GPU and your storage. I want to talk a little bit about storage, so let's just hide Premiere, and let's open up our 4K video file. Our 4K video file, we recorded 20 seconds of material, and 20 seconds is roughly 131 megabytes a second, roughly 6 megabytes a second. This means that we're going to need to have a fast hard disk, and it's often a good thing to know how fast your hard disk is. There's a free utility from Blackmagic Design called the Blackmagic Disk Speed Test. I'm going to double click it to open it up. This allows us to test the speed of any hard disk. Click the gear, and I'm going to test the speed of, I've got an, a single external drive here, so let's select a target drive, and we'll go to our Thunderbolt second drive, click choose, and click start. As a single drive, it's going to move around, oh, around 100 megabytes a second. And read will be about the same amount of time. Writes tend to be faster than reads, but they're both going to be between 100, well, in this case, between 90 and 120 megabytes a second. This hard disk tends to be full. The fuller the hard disk, the slower it goes. The RAID, which is here, I've got an OWC RAID. Let's just check the speed of that. So we'll change our target drive, and we'll go to the RAID, click Choose, and Start. It is a whole lot faster. So as you can see by looking at that chart, the RAID, when it has spinning media, goes about, oh, four to 500 megs in it. But if I take the spinning media out and replace it with an SSD, look at what SSD speeds you can expect. The huge advantage to an SSD is they are blindingly fast, but they don't hold as much media as a spinning media hard drive. 4K video is huge, and when we shoot it on the iPhone, it's also highly compressed. The iPhone shoots a format called H.264, which is 3840 by 2160 pixels across and high at 30 frames a second. This generates data about 6.5 megabytes a second, or 23.4 gigabytes an hour. As we work with a less compressed format, like ProRes, it's 74 megabytes a second and 265 gigabytes an hour. But if we were to work with uncompressed 10-bit RGB 4K video, it's 995 megabytes a second and 3.58 terabytes an hour. 4K video is huge. It devours storage, and it requires that storage to be extremely fast. You're going to very, very quickly fill up a single hard drive, so when you're working with 4K video, your best option is always to use a RAID, which is why we're working with a RAID in today's presentation. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar, taking a look at 4K video, the iPhone 6S, and Adobe Premiere Pro CC. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for webinar 184. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, hundreds of hours of training all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash subscriptions. And thanks.